I'm in my car because I'm always in my car, but I'm gonna just start talking to you about Costa Rica because this trip was amazing and I really don't want this to be a super long video. So I am gonna talk about the highlights of the trip and maybe I'll leave more of the details to my vlog because I like to write as well. And I love them for different reasons, but aesthetically and just vibe, relaxation wise, this was my favorite, okay? I highly recommend Costa Rica, assuming that you're gonna have the same experience I had or better. The place was gorgeous. So just to jump into the details, um, I actually went um, September 6th to the 10th. Those are my travel dates. And we went during September, which is the rainy season. I think September, I forgot the exact dates for the rainy season for Costa Rica, but so it's usually sunny in the morning into maybe like a little bit in the afternoon and then it just rains, pours, thunders, all that. But it was gorgeous because you know, I love rain, so I would not have changed anything. I would not have changed the weather while I was there either. Like I got my sun and I got my rain, I got my hot steamy days, I got my humidity, I got everything that I wanted. So the first day when we arrived, um, we had to drive three hours from the airport to um, Makanda by the Sea, which was the hotel that we stayed at, which was gorgeous. It was so beautiful. Nine six, we did some driving, a lot of driving. I mostly did sightseeing, but that was our first time driving internationally. Um, and we ordered food at the hotel. The restaurant is called Arbo Restaurant, but the food was not good. That was probably my least favorite part. Dinner that night was not tasty, and it should have been tasty for the amount of money that was spent on it. But that was the only like poor eating experience that we had. So we ate and we watched that Kevin Hart movie that's out right now. I forgot the name of it, but it was funny. Me Time. I think it's called Me Time. Watched that, chuckled a little bit, whatever, whatever. And so on the on the seventh, the actual birth bite. I chilled like I didn't rush to do anything we just took it easy we went to breakfast our breakfast was included with our stay and the breakfast was such good quality the food was amazing it was just so fresh so gosh it was amazing I almost dang near got the same thing all the time because it was so good but I definitely tried different things too while I was eating breakfast so um after that we went to, we went into town, like up the hill. Jeez. The terrain is very hilly, by the way. We went up the hill to this little shopping area and we got snacks um, and some alcohol. We got snacks, um, but I also got something local. I got something called postanos, postanes or something like that. I think it's like mashed plantains with seasoning. I had gotten the garlic, um, yeah, garlic herb kind. It was so delicious. Oh my goodness, it was so good. I wish the intention was to buy more of those and bring it back, but I never made my way back to the store, unfortunately. Sad story. So uh, we went to, got some snacks and drinks. Um, we came back and we went down to the private beach um, that the hotel owns. And it was nice. It was beautiful. The tide, the waves were a little aggressive <laughs> and the pebbles were a little painful, but the view was nice. Um, but I did get in the water. There was one moment when I stepped out and it just drops like... I can see how someone could get taken out there. It was really aggressive. So I didn't trust the water. <laughs> I knew better. I was like, you know what? No, I saw some people going a little further out. They must be more familiar with the tides, but I wasn't playing around with that. I plan on coming back for my vacation. So um, yeah, we went down to the beach. Um, the reason we left, and it wasn't because it started raining, but because my tummy started getting itchy and I don't know why. Like I had little bumps on my tummy and I was like, oh no, I need to go take a shower. I need to go wash whatever is on me off. And I don't think it had anything to do with the water because my whole body was in the water and it was only my tummy that was itchy. So definitely had to go back to the bathroom and rinse off. So I did that. Um, what else did we do? Oh yeah, we. I think we just enjoyed just the hotel. Like it was really, really beautiful. Um, we also had a pretty meaningful conversation that evening and 
that's part of the reason why that day was so great. Like on the actual birthday, we didn't exert ourselves. We didn't do X amount of things in a certain amount of time. We took it easy and we relaxed and we just spent time with each other. So in Costa Rica, <laughs> it was beautiful. Um, so that was pretty much the birthday. Now the next day on the 8th, that was when all the activities really happened. And you would think that it was two days in one, but no, this is one full day. So I'm gonna let you know what went down. So first thing in the morning, we had food brought to our hotel because um, we would have to go get picked up pretty early. So we munched and we got picked up and we drove down to um, this beach, just like 15 minutes away. Um, and we went parasailing. Now the lady, she gave us all a rundown on what to expect and everything. Um, and I'm nervous, but I'm excited. And so we get harnessed, we get hooked up, tied up, all that jazz. And <laughs> as the boat was driving out, that was gonna help the parachute behind us to catch air. And as it caught air, it was gonna pull us. So we started with the walking and then it, we were running and then we got yanked. And so she said the whole thing was gonna be a smooth experience, but because that wasn't very smooth, I was skeptical and I could not stop thinking about how the landing was gonna happen. So the higher we went up, the more worried I was that it was gonna be like a crazy descension. And I was so anxious, but the beauty was so calming. I cannot, I can try to describe to you what I saw. It was just gorgeous. So um, I don't know how high up we are, hundreds, hundreds of feet up. And there are cliffs nearby and I can see the waves crashing up on it, the dark blue water just crashing up against the rocks. And there are trees on top of the cliff and the skyline was just gorgeous. Just everything was gorgeous. The water was gorgeous. The view was gorgeous. Cause like we drove by like this little peninsula. So we got to see like that whole beach area. It was just so amazing and nerve wracking because we kept getting higher and you know, I'm pretty vocal when I'm nervous. <laughs> when I'm scared, I started praying. I was like, Lord, please let this be a, a good experience. Please keep me safe. Please cover us, keep us protected. Because I was just like, don't nobody got me up here, but God, like, I know, you know, they do their training and whatnot, but prayer, it really, it helped to ease my mind. So um, I was still a little anxious while we were up there but i felt a little bit better and i think me being nervous made kai a little <laughs> made his stomach start to hurt so i didn't need for it to be contagious but it was funny a little bit looking back so um and our ride was 15 minutes so starting out i didn't think that was long enough but it was just right i was not trying to stay up there any longer to be real with you so i'm like all right you know when are we going to start heading down <laughs> and so the boat turns around and you know i felt a little <laughs> As, as the parachute was moving us, I was like, ooh. <laughs> and so the, they start to slow down so we get closer to the water. And at this point, I'm giddy, I'm excited. I'm like, yo, let's go, like, let's land in this water. I'm an earth sign, but I love water. Like, I know those two don't really correlate, but like, I, I love being around the water. So I was ready to drop into the water. So boat slows, boat slows, we drop into the water. Um, that they did warm, warn us that we would feel like, you know, the tugging of the strings and the harness once we get in the water and to not panic. I definitely felt that. So I unclipped myself quickly um, and the jet ski was there. The least graceful part about all of this was being in the water and trying to mount the jet ski. That just, I'm pretty sure I bruised my pelvic bone. Like it just wasn't cute but whatever we got we got the jet ski ride back and back to the beach we hung out in that area for a little bit um kai was offered weed several times um yeah and then we headed back so <laughs> headed back what else did we do oh yeah so once we got back we we are told about a saltwater pool that just opened up. So we went there. Saltwater is so much better for your skin, if you don't know, than chlorine, chlorinated pools. Um, so went there, the water was cool. But the the infinity pool <clears throat> between the bar or like the edge of the infinity pool and like the place where you can physically stand, there was a nine foot drop. And I don't mind deep water. My issue is 
dark deep water or just dark water in general so he could go out there i could not i just it was a mental block i couldn't do it it was too dark maybe blame it on the rings more blame blame it on whatever scary movie <laughs> i just could not go out there so i got some pictures of him up there it was beautiful we had a drink we got in a jacuzzi my pina colada was popping we sunbathed we was pool hopping we went to the main pool we took in the views the flooring in the main pool was gorgeous as well like it had iridescent tile i mean it was just amazing the music was good the vibes are straight like the view once again i cannot like each every part of this hotel had an amazing view our hotel room the first pool the second pool the breakfast viewing area everything was gorgeous okay goodness gracious oh i'm gonna lock this in my mind forever so after that <laughs> oh yeah i'm pretty sure i showered and i just stayed bathing myself because they had a garden pool in the main room and it was beautiful i have to describe i can't believe i didn't talk about the main room the main room was gorgeous. our room was beautiful the decor was on point the color scheme was on point the various textures throughout the room was amazing the garden tub was chef's kiss it was i used it so much i almost used all my bath bombs in there but like i love bathing it's so just immersing yourself into a tub is so cleansing not literally but water in general is just so soothing so i love taking baths definitely did that a lot so anyway back to this so after our pool hopping session and sunbathing session the last thing we had to do was um, get our massages and we went we got picked up it went all the way down it's still on the company property the hotel property went all the way down and across this high bridge you're looking over and you're seeing the tops of trees i'm like oh my gosh again what the fuck? like something could go wrong quickly we could be over this if someone does the wrong thing like free falling it was beautiful but again i'm just like this is wild <laughs> so we go into this, this small beautiful nicely decorated again little building and the massage room has two massage tables and like this panoramic view. And about two thirds into our massage, the storm knocks the lights out and they just keep massaging, rubbing us down. The massage was nice. It felt more like a strong rub down than like an intentional massage, but it was still all right. It was still good. Um, and so when the lights went out, they got some candles and lit. So again, everything was still a vibe. I'm watching the storm through the panoramic view. I'm watching the clouds and the lightning come in and there's candles, like, <laughs> I don't have words for just how amazing that was. Like, even though something went wrong, it still was beautiful, it still went right, I can't, yeah, so that was that. So it was pouring, um, we went back and yeah, that was pretty much the night or the whole day, we did a lot, but it didn't feel like a lot. Everything felt like I was. we were still taking our time. So it was great, okay? All right, so that was Thursday. The last thing we did on Thursday was went to this place called Emilio's. And I know I was forgetting something. We went to this place called Emilio's for dinner and we tried something new, octopus. But I've had octopus before, charbroiled octopus, which was good. This was not that. And I was like, hi, try it. And I had it in my mouth. I was waiting to spit it out, but I wanted him to try it first. He wasn't into it either. We both spit it out. Everything else was good. Everything else smacked, but that was not couldn't do it could not swallow that and on the ninth which is our last like full day of activities um we went on a waterfall tour this was dope okay this was amazing as well like i can't i feel like i'm gonna just keep saying this throughout the whole, the whole video because everything truly was impeccable so wait no this wasn't the day that no okay this was the day we actually had breakfast in the room yesterday we went down we had breakfast and then we went parasailing so they didn't bring breakfast to our room on when, on thursday it was on friday so friday because the waterfall tour was so early we had um room service bring our breakfast up and then we got picked up to go to the first place which was like i don't know it was kind of far it was like an hour or so away um maybe like 45 minutes to an hour away. Um, and is this right? Okay. Um, and so the first place, no, on our way up to the water, to the first waterfall, um, originally I'm thinking, oh, we're gonna go see these beautiful places. No, we're jumping. 
I'm like, I didn't know we were jumping. I thought we were, you know, I thought it was gonna be chill. I wasn't trying to jump. That wasn't my intention to jump when I booked this, but I, which it's all right because him and I were talking about maybe doing some jumping when we first talked about the trip months ago. So I guess that's why it was kind of okay. And I kind of like the idea. We crossed the top of the waterfall and then we find our, our way down next to it. So to the left of me, there's this roaring waterfall and to the right, there's calm. And so our guide, he jumps first and then Kai jumps and then they keep trying to get me to jump but I'm just not jumping. Like my brain is like, girl, we're about living life, not about ending it. So I just could not jump. It took me a, a, a bit to jump, but when I did, it was amazing. I felt free. It was, ah, uh, I felt alive. It was great. So I thought, you know, okay, that's cool. That's enough. No, we were supposed to jump again at a higher level. So the first jump had to be at least 15 feet. The second jump was about 20, maybe 22. So our, again, our guide jumps and then I was supposed to jump next. I did jump eventually. Not as long as, it didn't take as long as the first jump, but I did, I did it. Kai goes, but Kai doesn't just jump off. He jumps up and he jumps off. Now Kai is a big dude, okay? And I don't know how deep that place is, like at the bottom of the watering hole, but he jumps up and the way he goes in, when he, he took a, it took him a, a bit to come back up. <laughs> and I was like, okay, where is he? He finally comes up and when he tells, he tells me that when he went into the water, he was on his back on the ground. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? Like how deep is this thing? And yo, like you really went, you, you jumped. Like, I don't know where he was going, but dude was his, his jump had a lot of enthusiasm so we did that and then we jumped on the other side of the water fountain and just so that we can like exit it was just a small little hop we should start with that first <laughs> small little hop and then we swam and we did some climbing to get back to the car so that was nice then we drove about 30 minutes to the next spot and this was a more calm setting this was beautiful so beautiful more of a calm setting um the watering whole area was bigger and the waterfall was pushed towards the back a little bit and to the left there's this rope like little tarzan swing little you know so you go you climb you fetch the rope you pull and you release and you're swinging and you drop but you have to drop at the right moment it is imperative that you let go because if you don't let go you will land on some very visible rocks and i can only imagine that 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 has had to have happened already. So Kai goes, he has a good time. Um, and I go, and I'm just like, I wanna do it again. I had a really, really good time doing that. Um, so the tour guide, he finds some clay and he's giving me a little <laughs> face mask. Oh, there was a puppy there, by the way. Oh, there was a puppy I was interacting with. He was so cute, so precious. I wanted to take him with me, but whatever, because I couldn't. So he's still in Costa Rica. He was gorgeous. He was someone else's puppy too. So yeah, there's that factor so i got a clay mask i didn't talk with the puppy and i went swimming towards the waterfall i wanted to feel like the pressure of the water coming down i wanted to feel the water going over the rocks i'm very like sensory hands-on kind of person um so yeah and then from there we go to window beach um playa ventana i think it's what it's called and got some more views i ate some fruit it was nice but at this point um there were two factors one our tour guide kept talking about how our jumps were called the appetizers so whatever we were about to do or supposed to do last was supposed to be like super 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 big i wasn't about that sorry i had i do have limits and that was that was it so um not only that but the water was getting into kai's ear her eardrum he was getting like he had an ear ache so uh and it might have been from that last jump too but um i told our tour guy i was like you know what this is it we're, we're good we don't have to go to the next stop just take us to go get some food and we're done you're done so um yeah that's what happened uh he took us to get some food i smashed food was good i had some i think i had some i don't even know what kind of fish it was i would say mahi um and then there was some salad there was some beans there was like some 
potatoes sauteed with peppers it was rice and the favorite my favorite part guys too this drink it was a tamarind juice drink it was fresh and i'm telling you if virgo was a drink this would be it it was so earthy but sweet oh tamarind it was just i never had it before at least i don't remember having a drink like that before it was refreshing it was delightful so yeah so that pretty much summed up the our friday waterfall tour um was pretty much it and i know we went somewhere nice to eat for dinner that night um and it was it was nice it was pouring outside but the the food was good we was tearing it up our food was great yeah we went to a really nice restaurant and we got drenched <laughs> not while we were eating after which just to go back um but we had a good time and the next day we packed up and we drove back to Adis and caught our flight and headed back home everything was so great during this vacation that it seemed like right when we got home everything went wrong like with airports and luggage issues <laughs> I'm just glad all of that waited until we got back home and didn't happen during our vacation. But yeah, that was my trip to Costa Rica. I hope that you uh, maybe are inspired to go. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you for checking me out and I will see you again with the next trip, vacation situation, whatever, you see me again. Bye.